Yeah, that, that diversification is is widely misunderstood sometimes, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure you have experience with talking to a lot of passive investors who have a lot of their money in in the in the stock markets, and they talk about different mutual funds and different tax, I mean different different um stocks that that they are invested in, whether it be financial sector or tech sector, so on and so forth. And they feel as if that is diversified, but they do not have control of how that um, the market reacts to something that happened in Greece that I don't know how that affects stock market in America, but <laughs> somehow it does, right? Real estate does give some true diversification. And even in the real estate sector itself, there's even further further diversification, as you mentioned, mobile home parks, um, storage, apartment buildings, commercial buildings, so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah. So actually, you made a great point um, about um, not knowing how the changes in Greece would impact the stock market in the U.S. or Europe, uh, for that matter. Uh, that's the thing with, with the stock market. When you're investing in something, um, and I typically use the example of Starbucks because I like drinking coffee. If you and I start drinking Starbucks coffee six times a day instead of one a day, um, it will have absolutely no impact on the Starbucks stock. And, and that's the problem. Like we, we have oh, wow. no way of um, controlling that stock right, and no right. way of mitigating the impact yeah. that that stock has um, and how you know, but that may or may not impact our portfolio in some way. Where with real estate, the syndications, even if someone is investing passively in syndications and uh, not having a control, they do have full involvement and they are fully aware of the strategy that the operator uh, has decided to take with that particular asset. And they are kept up to date as to what's going on with the property and they know um, how the operator is planning to implement the strategy increase income, decrease uh, expenses, and overall increase the, the bottom line. So that's the beauty um, of real estate. Not to say that it doesn't have any challenges. Everything has challenges, and it's not um, FDIC insured and whatnot. There's risks involved, as we know, and COVID-19 is impacting real estate just like any other industry. But, the, you know, the risks in real estate can be mitigated and can be worked on, where with the stock market, it's completely... Uh, like throwing a dart in the dark. <laughs> That's right. No, you're, you're exactly right. Because one thing you get to do as a passive investor is you get to buy in to the strategic plan at, at the front end. And so you, you can decide whether or not that plan that the, a sponsor is presenting to you is something that you think will work or agree with. And so that's, that's one thing we're going to get into in this episode that I'm really excited about is 